get this thing started, man. Y'all bear with me tonight, family. Man, hey. Dr. Phil Valentine was dropping some jewels of a man. Still processing all that information. Whew. But yeah, man, we finna get ready to go in here in a minute. So stand by. Man, hey, that was a lot of information, bro. Whew. First eye on fire again tonight, too, so I know this one's going to be a good one. All right, hang on. Should be on here too long. Uh, let's go and start off with the theme song. Stop it, man. We put a go in. I can't see you, nigga. 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 I can't see you, nigga.
Easier to be. What you did to me. Look at what you did to me. I'm so right back around and you'll get what you did to me. I get what you did to me. Karma comes right back around and you'll get what you did to me. All right, family. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Crisis Counseling, right? Man, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, uh, all that knowledge of. Uh, Dr. Phil Valentine was just dropping and still processing it, right? So, uh, yeah, it's still Moore's Day on my side of the world. So we going to be going in, right? And uh, we going back into the Mind Control 101 book. And we finna uh, break down the parents and the upbringing. Uh, how you how you uh, basically get mind control through your upbringing and through your parents. So, it's going to get deep and uh, leave your feelings at the door, right? Leave your feelings at the door because it's Mars Day, so I might be doing a lot of cussing or whatnot, and uh, it is what it is, so... Let's go and get off into it. So, uh, earlier we left off at uh, keep in mind that while most of us value and taught the virtues of freedom, right, and personal independence, these are new concepts. When compared to the long span of human history, or what I was saying, mankind history. Mind control has been the rule, not the expectation, right? <clears throat> so parents and upbringing. How this thing works with your parents and upbringing. Let's, can, let's go and start on it. Uh, beliefs are born from our experiences and not from facts. Let me say that again. Beliefs are born from our experiences and not from facts, right? In fact, a belief is a belief because it is not a fact, right? That's what makes it a belief because it is not a fact, right? Facts can be proven, but beliefs must be argued, right? Beliefs must be argued. However, most people do not make these distinctions, right? And hold their beliefs as facts, stating them without even the consideration of anything contrary, right? Parents are not expectation parents are no expectation excuse me does parents unknowingly take part in the most tough mind control processes that are available by controlling every aspect of a child's life or what we was talking about earlier the uh, environment, the environmental control model, right? They reward preferred behavior and punish the bad behavior, right? That's what they call the behavior modification uh, model, what we was talking about the last slide. Some are good at parenting, understands a child's unique tendencies and dispositions and controls them by uh, uh, accumulating this uniqueness what well, we was talking about the the NLP model the neurons in your brain right 
So let's continue, and we gonna uh, gonna uh, do my little part teaching the teaching instructions. Right, the world's second oldest profession is in fact a well crafted mind control experience. It's like social media. So it's a mind control experience. It's a social experience. There are many features and techniques of mind control at work in any classroom, right? In school, any classroom, college, whatever. The most obvious is peer pressure, right? We talked about peer pressure. Designed to enforce uh, conformity, right? Trying to get you to confirm, to be a certain way, act a certain way, right? Other techniques include the behavioral modification of rewards and punishment that work together, right? With the intention that everyone learn the same information, right? We, you know, they, they, they put us in try, this box to try to get us to learn the same information. It's all old information, though. While, you know, we years and hundred years behind on the information. Right, that's why we say if you're gonna turn up, you better read up, right? Because that's what's gonna free you from everything that's about to go down in these coming years. So, with the intention that everyone learns the same information, the results are the results, and perhaps the hidden, the hidden intention is to install conformity of thought and behavior as a rule, right? So we're going to stop right there and break it down because we going through all of these different things in 2020, right, that we never seen before. A lot of people experiencing stuff that they, they don't know why they feeling this way. You got people that's actually happy, but because of all the madness of mind control and the distractions, they they don't know they happy so they basically put themselves in a situation see they trying to cut the lie but we going to keep going that's how I know it's real so uh yeah you got people that's happy but don't know they actually happy and so they put themselves in a situation where they attracting more negative experiences, right? So you can think all of your thoughts, all of your feelings and emotions are being controlled through these different models of mind control. All right. So let's continue because like I said, they trying to cut the video and it's all good. They can't hold me back, right? Uh, where we left off the results and perhaps the hidden intention is to install conformity of thought and behavior as a rule. A possible secondary hidden intention is to for forbid free thought and creativity. That's what we're talking about. All of these different things are to put an intention on us, to for forbid us from free thought, thinking however the hell you want to think, right? creating whatever you want to create but ever since 2020 hit it's only been certain people that's been putting out content uh being able to have free thought and not thinking the human thought because we always talk about the human thought is the most evilest thought right you pro-human right you want to save the world you want to save the babies you want to save every everything on the planet but we going through a shift right now. And it's to forbid you from free thought and creativity. It's, that's the conscious lockdown. The, to shut down your free thought and creativity. Yes, modern uh, prodigy, uh, regardless of its intentions, uses uh, tried and tested mind control methods as a matter of course, right? So 
that's it on that chapter. We the next chapter is uh religion and the uh application of mind control. Cause that's you know, that's the that's another major part. And so he breaks it down on how religions work on mind controlling you. And all of these different things shut down your free thought and your creativity, right? Uh People that's religious, they just wanna they wanna have more knowledge of Jesus Christ, right? And not understanding the Christ is within you, right? You with Satan, you fail, right? We all fail. Some people chose to come down here to help the other people wake up. Some other people was tricked, you know. What most people say, they didn't sign up for this, right? And so those are the people that we came down here to help, right? I came down here to help. All the masters came down here to help. This is one of my my favorite topics because religions, religious organizations use every mind control method available. You hear me, family? They use every mind control method available. Let's continue. Uh, let's focus on the stated and unstated intentions of most religious groups and how they use the means of mind control to reach not your end, their ends, right? They want you to, you know, what they uh what they say, tie it to your die, right? Give to it hurt, right? <laughs> Give to it hurt. Mm-hmm. And it's all for their means. They don't care, right? Their stated intentions, intention is to get closer as individuals to their God, right? Of these deities that we think that's better than us, but they're no better than us. Why? Because they trick, like I said, trick some people to come down here to be in this reality and some of us chose to be down here. So... You got to know the difference. You got to know why you came down here. You got to figure that out for yourself. And doing so, a devout, a devout, devoted follower will eagerly apply any mind control method on themselves, right? Like I was saying the other lie. Some people so used to mind control that they they rather apply these different methods on themselves than, than have free thought and creativity and 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 realize that you was been placed in a box a prison the god the real true creator is within you this might even include the various uh let me see the the previous yeah the previous that would normally fall under the category of self-imposed concern right Self-imposed concern, cause you think you're, cause you think you're a sinner. You think, cause all of these different things you're going through in life, you think it's because uh, you done did something wrong, or you think your life is so rough, so you gotta go to this church, right, to get yourself back right, right. What what we were saying the other day, the the biggest lie that they told us is that we was born sinners. To understand ain't the understated aims of religious mind control are many among them to uh, many among them are to raise money f for the church or church leaders, right? Said that one early. Install fear of disobeying church doctrine, right? You think you're going to go to hell. That's why most people go to church, because they're afraid they're going to go to hell, right? When you are already in hell, you are already in this, this, this hell that we call life, right? Because you've been tricked. You've been lied to all your life, your parents, everybody else, right? Oh. Uh, Create a con a, a quantum from uh for non-believers, right? 
if you don't go to church, if you don't believe, they try to put this pressure on you that you know God going to punish you for being a non-believer. Unify the group to work together, right? I remember knocking on people's doors, trying to convert them to Christ, and right? And, man, it was crazy, man. Uh, recruit non-believers into the flock, right? <laughs> remember doing that as well. Like I was saying, uh, from the Baptist church to the Mormon church, right? Trying to convert people and get these people to believe what I believe. But like we was reading earlier, beliefs are not a fact, right? You have to argue these different things. So let's continue. A Tom Mesmer, right? A Tom Mesmer is the founder of Mesmium and forerunner of hypnosis, right? Another form of uh, mind control, hypnosis. Mesmer believed that all living organisms have a magnet, magnetic fluid running through them and that by Making passes over the body with magnets, one can control the flow of the fluid and alter the person's health and mental state. Later in his career, he found that making these passes without magnets created the same results. What he fell up, yes, what he fell upon was the wonder for phenomenal phenomenon of human suggestibility, right? That's why we say you cannot be easily suggestible. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be easily suggestible. But let's continue. They trying to cut this joke all oh, today, man. They they know it's going on. Uh, by speaking with confidence authority and telling people what they would experience people experience just that like how we was reading in the middle human book right just by him telling the people that they didn't have the obesity gene they automatically started losing weight but that's how that's how powerful our mind is so you got to be careful what you listen to and who you let speak in, into you. People experience just that, like we were saying. Uh, by adding the effect of rituals, right? By adding the effect of rituals, it was made even more compelling. People would swan and fall over under his control, right? Under his control. Man, they, hey, man, it's crazy, bro. We still alive, right? Let's make sure. Because I don't want to keep going. Okay, we still alive, so we make a show, man. Uh, so the next section is the MK Ultra, right? Project MK Ultra, also known as MK Ultra, right, was the code name for a CIA mind control research program that began in the 1950s, y'all. Oh man, they really trying to cut me off, bro. <laughs> Hey, man. I know that well, man. Let's see.
Hey, bro. <laughs> they talk about they having trouble, but it ain't no trouble. Let's see what's going on. We're going to keep on going, man. All right. They're going to keep on going. If they cut it off, it is what it is. So, yeah, what we're saying is MK Ultra stuff started back in the 1950s. That's how old it is, right? And continued until the late 1960s. There is much published evidence that the project involved not only the use of drugs to manipulate, you know, like say to manipulate persons, but also to use the use of electronic signals to alter brain functioning. Right? Electronic signals to alter brain function. It was first brought to wide public attention by the United the U.S. Con, uh, Congress in the form of the Church Committee. <laughs> a form of the Church Committee family. A presidential, a presidential commission known as the Rockefeller Commission now. <laughs> and also the U.S. Senate on the Senate floor, Senate Ted Kennedy said the deputy director of the CIA revealed that over 30 universities and institutions were involved in a intensive testing and experimentation program, which included uh, convert drug tests, on unwitting citizens at all social levels, high and low, uh, Native Americans and foreigners, right? Several of these tests involved the uh, administration of LSD, right? LSD to the unwitting subjects and social situations. At least one death that of uh, Dr. Olson resulted from these activities. The agency itself acknowledged that these tests made little scientific sense. The agents during uh, the monitoring were not qualified scientific observers right <laughs> these people was not qualified scientific observers and so it's real crazy family uh, somebody let me know we still alive so we can uh keep going Somebody, you know, hit hit me up in the comment and press one or something. Let me know we still alive because it's telling me the screen is down, right? And uh, I don't see nothing, right? But it's still showing I'm live, so... Let's continue. <clears throat> MK Ultra did experiments in every conceivable area of mind control. From the uh, con yeah, from the uh, concern to the convert, in an attempt to find out how to control the thoughts and actions of groups and individuals. Keep in mind that this was during the time of the Cold War, right? When many felt that the government was being 
assailed from every direction. By doing just a little searching on the internet, anyone could find government documents that describe the depth or uh, sincere interest the U.S. government had in mind control. It is safe to, to uh, assure that these, new, these now public documents represent only a portion of what the government does in the name of national security and that some other experiments and yet unrevealed and still going on. So yeah, family, we gonna end it on that because like I said, <laughs> you know it's real when they bring the knowledge and uh, they trying to mess up the lie. So we gonna cut it there for the night. I appreciate everybody that did time on in. And uh, peace to all the gods and goddesses. Rising power to the, the ancestors, my ancestors, your ancestors. Uh, to all gods known and unknown. I say, right? Y'all have a good night. Get on out here, man. They trying to hold me back. It can't hold me back. It can only hold me back for so long, though. We going to keep bringing it. So, peace, family. Matter of fact, uh, we going to end this thing on one little, one more song, man. Trap Timber. They trying to hold me back. Trap Timber, man. Trap Timber, man. It's crazy. Now I meditate, moved out my stage so people think I'm fake. I love myself too much to be in the same place. Look around the same people that's doing the same thing. Since psychedelic tilt, my brain I ain't been the same. My own people acting strange, but I see it, man. PGT know I'm a prophet, but they sleeping, man. Well, I guess that's how this life goes. Some people get mad. They get mad at you the things that they do. Well, I guess that's how this world goes. That's how it goes, that's how it goes. Yeah, they are judges too. This world like they do. Well, I guess that's how this life goes. That's how it goes, that's how it goes. Yeah, they get mad at you. On the all time rise, y'all. The whole world cried. When we heard Nipsey also died. This life is just a disguise, and they go keep telling more lies. But some of us too slow and brainwashed to realize. You just another sheep, so go back to sleep. Want to be free. I ain't the one to teach, hey, and I ain't the one to teach. I'm just reaching out to the souls that love to hear me speak. But what if I told you that God is the devil? And on the low key, he working with your oppressors. No, I ain't trying to stress you. I'm really trying to bless you. I'm trying to show you how I got up on this level. Well, I guess that's how this life goes. That's how it go, that's how it go. Yeah, they get mad at you. The things that they do. Well, I guess that's how this world goes. That's how it goes, that's how it goes. Yeah, they are judges too. This world like they do. I had to go and get my soul back. I got it back so I can make it out the matrix. Well, I 
so long family gonna keep bringing the knowledge though you know tonight so yeah peace to the family y'all have a good one man y'all have a great one a phenomenal night right and uh we got time back in with y'all another time and uh it is what it is like i said the more truth i bring they they try to do as much as they can to slow down the live feed right but it is what it is. So yeah, peace to the gods and goddesses, rising power to our ancestors, my ancestors, your ancestors, and to all gods known and unknown. Ashe, Ashe.